Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my flush on and off Nether Portal version 3 because my other two versions do not work any longer after title update 19. However, this one is much smaller than the older ones, much more simpler, and it works great. So we click this button right here. Our Nether Portal opens up, turns on, and we can obviously go into the Nether, but that's just going to waste time if I go into the Nether. Then when we're ready to, well, when we come out of the Nether and we want to turn it off so we don't have to hear all those chainsaw noises and all that, you know, uh, noises, and we don't want to see just an empty portal in our house, we just click this button, our portal turns off, and is completely hidden behind the wall once again. So let's look at the redstone behind us. Like I said, there's not really much going into this thing, guys. It's a very, very small and very simple version that i made and it works great i mean it works just like the older ones and it uses a lot less resources so let's start building this thing guys all right guys so for this build we're going to need a five by four spacing we're also gonna have to dig down too now for this build we are going to need nine sticky pistons one piston two dispensers six redstone repeaters four redstone torches one redstone block 12 redstone dust a lever a button we'll come back to those later we're also going to need one sand block at least 10 obsidian blocks for our you know for our bleh, our nether portal if you want to do all the obsidian blocks and you're going to need at least 14 we're also going to need a water bucket a flint and steel and a slab for a build and then down here is just our block of choice i'm be using white stain clay and my blocks to put my redstone down on so let's start building this thing guys all right guys so the first circuit we're going to start off by doing is the two front pistons right here and our water dispenser this is where our water is going to get dispensed out of our dispenser to turn off our nether portal so what i want you to do is come to the bottom left hand corner of your five by four spacing and we're going to put a block right here in the corner and then right to the right of it we're going to go ahead and put our slab i forgot to take out our slab take out your slab and put a slab right here upside down like that we no longer need our slab anymore Next, what we're going to do is put some redstone dust on top of this slab, put a block coming out the top of the slab like that with a repeater on one tick delay, put a block up in front of the repeater, a block down, and we're going to put some redstone dust here, put a block to the left of the redstone dust, a block down right here, and put a repeater coming out of this block on three ticks delay, put a block up in front of this repeater and put a torch on top of this block. And we're gonna come back to this later. This is going to lead up to our double piston extenders for the front of our nether portal. Next, what I want you to do is come back over here to this dust again, and we're gonna go ahead and put a normal piston facing upwards here, then take out your sand block and put your sand block on top of it. This will create a mono stable circuit. Put a block down from that with a repeater going this way out of the sand block on one tick delay. Then we're gonna put a piece of redstone dust right down underneath here. Then we're going to put a repeater coming out of this piece of dust on one tick delay, put a block in front of it, put some redstone dust to the right hand side of the block, a block next to the dust, and then right here, we're going to go ahead and put two sticky pistons facing upwards. We don't need our sand block anymore. Take out your blocks of choice and put your walling blocks of choice right on top of these sticky pistons. So now if I put a block right above this slab that has this dust right here and put a button right here. So let me take out my button real quick. There we go. This should extend up, letting go of the blocks. So we click this button. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put a, put a block in front of this repeater right here. And now it should extend up. So oof, the blocks extend up being let go because of the monostable circuit. And then when I click it again, the blocks go down. Next, what I want you to do is put a piece of redstone dust back here on top of this block. Put a block next to the redstone dust. And then take out your dispensers. Make sure they're dispensers, not droppers. And put a dispenser right here and a dispenser right here. And that's gonna be our water dispenser. So when I click this button, you'll hear our dispenser our dispenser activate. So boop, as you heard, our dispenser just activated. Click it again, and our dispenser activates once more. So there is our bottom pistons and our water dispenser put in. Next, what we're gonna go ahead and do is put in our nether portal. So take out your obsidian blocks, and we're gonna go ahead and put two blocks down here, three blocks up like this, one, two, three, two blocks above the top, one two and then three blocks above this side so one two three so there's our entire nether portal if you want to you can go ahead and put the whole entire thing around it but since it's going to be behind the wall you're really not going to see anything but the inside of your nether portal so it really doesn't matter next we're going to do the circuit for our back double pistons right here so we're going to come back over here to this torch that we left on before and we're going to put a block right above the torch put a torch right above the block 
Then we're going to take out a sticky piston and put a sticky piston facing the backwards off the top of this off torch. And then we're going to put a redstone block off our sticky piston. Next, what we're going to do is come out two blocks from here. One, two. And then we're going to come down a block like this. Delete these two blocks. And then we're just going to come out one more block here and then wrap it towards the side of our nether portal like that. So it's going to make pretty much like an L shape. And then we're going to put redstone dust like this. So what's going to happen is this is going to extend thus hitting this redstone dust when I click the button. So when I click the button, as you see, the dust comes on and then goes off. Click the button, dust comes on, dust goes off. Also make sure these blocks are down right now because we're going to need these in the down position for the top sticky pistons up here. So next, what we're going to go ahead and do is put in our double piston extenders. So off the back blocks we just put here, coming off this nether portal, just do it from the inside of the nether portal will make it the easiest. We're going to put two sticky pistons like this, two more like this, and then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. One, two, one, two, then take out your blocks of choice and put your blocks of choice like this right at the back of your nether portal. So now it looks something like that. Next, we're going to swing over back here and then right on the side of this bottom sticky piston, we're going to go ahead and put a block like that. Then we're going to put a repeater coming out of that block on two ticks delay, put a block up in front of that repeater, and then we're going to put a torch off this block like that. So it looks something like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So put a block down next to this sticky piston, put a repeater coming out of it on two ticks delay, put a block in front of your two tick delay repeater, and then put a torch coming out the side. So that should be our whole double piston extender for the top. So when I click the button, everything should close. And when I click the button again, everything should open up. And there we go. Now all we have to do is just add in the redstone to get our fire working to turn on our nether portal. So to get this dispenser working with our flint and steel, it's very easy. We're just going to come right back here. And next to the dispenser that has the flint and steel in it, well, we haven't put it in yet. But next to this dispenser, we're going to put a block and put a piece of redstone dust right underneath this torch like that. Now we can't have it being a bead like this. So this is where our lever comes into place. We're going to put a lever right here. Do not turn on the lever or else it will not work. Just the levers just there to redirect this redstone. See how it's now a line instead of a bead. It's just a line. And that's all that's going to do is just redirect that redstone. So now we should be completely done guys. So if we go inside this dispenser, the left hand side dispenser, we're going to go ahead and put our flint and steel in. And in the right hand side dispenser, we're going to go ahead and put our water bucket in. So now, you know, just in case you, you know, if you think you did something wrong, I highly recommend, you know, maybe deleting a few blocks down over here, just so your water doesn't run anywhere, just in case you did something wrong. But if you did it the exact same way, I just did it. Everything should be working. So when I click this button, the water should come out of this dispenser right here and the door should close. So there we go. The door closed. The water came out of the dispenser. And then when I click it open, the water should go away and our nether portal should come on. So see that? So when we click the button, another portal goes away, closes it, click the button again, another portal opens up. And now all you have to do is just clean it up and you are completely done guys. And if you want to hide your button, it's very simple. I'll show you how to hide your button very soon. There we go. So let's just leave it like that and let's close it. Cause I don't feel like hearing all the nether portal noises. There we go. So now if you want to hide your button or, you know, put it somewhere else, all you have to do is just put a repeater going into that redstone dust like that and literally just bring it wherever you want. Now, you know, you can bring your button just about anywhere you want. Let's bring it all, but let's say we want to bring it all the way over here. You can also, you don't have to use a button. You mean you can use the hidden input and all that stuff that I have built on my channel in the past. So I put a button over here click it. I just see the door opens up click it again and the door closed but i usually like just leaving it right there because there's really no point in hiding your nether portal unless you have like a secret nether portal area to your nether where you hide all your chests and you don't want your friend to find them then i guess it's good to hide your <laughs> your nether portal but there you guys have it that is how you build my flush on and off nether portal version three i would say <laughs> even though the other two don't work anymore but if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace